you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, for those that don't know, this man is well versed in all kinds of mixed martial arts, um, and he trains and uh, trains people here along with American Top Team. Um, tell me a little bit about that. How'd you, uh, how'd you come about uh, along with ATT? Well, I started training at uh, Orlando, mm -hmm. ATC Orlando, and uh, when they opened up here, it was closer to home. And Jose Figueroa, who I trained with at Orlando, was teaching here, so I just started training here because it was closer. And then I had the opportunity to teach as well, which is what I wanted to do nice. as well, so I moved here. Cool. Where are you from originally? i uh, born and raised in Bronx, New York. Um, New York. That's a rough city, yeah. man. Yeah. I've been living here going on seven years now. Wow. Yeah, so I mean... So you've made it your home? Yeah, made it my home, definitely. That's now, um, I, I know for a fact you, you've done uh, a lot of mixed martial arts, um, you know, at first. Mm -hmm. um, how old are you now? I um, just turned 35 in just June. 35. And what is your MMA record as of today? Four and three. Okay. So I, I've had seven fights. I've fought for two amateur titles. Okay. And besides the MMA, uh, I, we, we were talking earlier, and you mentioned you, you're starting to branch out and compete in just more specific areas of martial arts. Tell me about that. Yeah, well, I mean, I, when I started out, I was better on the ground, mm -hmm. and I did a lot of ground and pound in my fights. Okay. So I wanted to get better at my striking, so I started doing Muay Thai fights. Wow. So, I mean, I didn't have as much success in Muay Thai, but it just gave me the opportunity to see where I was at and, and compete, you know. So right. I have a one and two record in Muay Thai. Wow. Now, I'm a big fan of that school of thought that you got, which mm -hmm. is throw yourself into a, a pure martial art like Muay Thai yeah. and, and just test yourself with the fire. Yeah, I can't, the, I can't depend on a takedown in Muay Thai. I gotta just stand there and, and, and work what, what, I, what I know, so. How much do you feel that that elevated your Muay Thai? Oh, my, my striking's gotten a ton better since nice. then. You know, between Muay Thai and I've started working boxing in there. And mm -hmm. I, I stepped away a little bit from the Muay Thai because I'm not a big kicker. Mm -hmm. So I'm more into the boxing now, but you know, it's, it's helped me a ton. You know? That's awesome. You I'm more confident on my feet now than I ever was. You know? If it's gonna do anything for you, just give you some confidence. Yeah. Um, you also do a lot of grappling. Grappling tournaments, like I said, I just turned 35. Yep. I know I can only fight so much longer, so that's where I'm gonna be able to continue to compete is grappling tournaments. So I, just, I just did the Naga in July. Uh, I won my division. Nice. And so I'm looking to do some more pretty soon. For those that don't know, uh, the North American Grappling Association is a tough, tough uh, league of competition to be in. I mean, some of the yeah. best grapplers in the country go out there to compete. Um, man, that's good stuff. Now, for the fans out there that, that want to continue to follow you.